Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this summer I have two holidays booked. I'm going to Ibiza with a group of friends. I'm also going to Mallorca with my sister. So I've got some summery pieces that I've picked up from Shein and also a bunch of random things because that homeware section, you just, you, you go in not needing anything and you come up with all these random gadgets and things that will literally change your life. So I received the bulk of the package um, maybe like a week and a half after I ordered it. However, one thing arrived literally two days afterwards, which is crazy. And I've already tried this on and I know it fits good, but I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I haven't tried on anything from here. It's going to be like a first reactions, but I obviously add the try on clips and let you know whether I keep it or what sizes I keep. Um, but let's just open it and see how everything gets. So I just did this and poured everything out onto my bed and I kind of just had random objects flying everywhere and I just like picked up a few things like oh yeah I did order that <laughs> so random um I think I'm going to start off with the clothing and I'll leave all the random items for the end of the video um there's going to be no order with those items so let's just start with bikinis in the usual Shein spirit, they all come in little bags and I need to make sure that I don't mix them up because I would like to return whatever doesn't fit me. However, I do know that this fits me well. Um, so, this is my tanning bikini. <laughs> so, let me show you. Um, first of all, I absolutely adore the colour. Like, look how bright this is. And, like, I imagine with, like, bright nails like this. Um, it's very cheeky. It's not quite a thong. I mean, it kind of is, really. I mean, I think that's the back. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a thong. Um, but it's, like, super high on your waist. And it's going to be great for very minimal tan lines. And then, to match, which is something I don't usually wear, is a strapless bikini top. I personally, I don't know why, I just hate not having straps um so when i wear this i will probably just have my hair down for most of it and then obviously when i'm tanning i'll be like this um but it fits and i love the color and it'll be perfect for tanning in because obviously you won't get the tan lines like the strap lines so um yeah i'm gonna keep it i'll put all the pricing and everything on the screen I just absolutely love the colour. My bikinis at the moment are basically just black and I recently got a brown one. So black and brown isn't very exciting so I needed some colour and I'm very happy with this. So the next bikini is also very colourful and again strapless. Um, I don't know whether it's like this or like this. I feel like it's going to be like this, like a simple bandeau um, but it's like such a gorgeous bow up the back. I love the colours. Um, again, perfect for tanning, and then the bottoms are actually high-waisted. Um, they look quite big, I don't know whether these are going to fit, but I hope so. They feel really good quality, um, but yes, these are, I believe, high-waisted. And I don't have any high-waisted bikinis, so it will be quite interesting, because sometimes you don't want your belly button out, you know? Like, all my gym clothes are always high-waisted, and like, trousers are high-waisted, I just prefer a high-waisted fit. I feel like most people do, just you feel more comfortable in it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. So it's so exciting about trying on all your new clothing. So sticking with the high-waisted theme, I bought a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms. I bought two sizes. So this is size medium. I also have the size small in this pile because I wasn't too sure. Um, these do look big. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I've never had high waist bikini bottoms, as I just said. I don't know whether it's going to be flattering, but from first reactions, it feels very thick material. I'm actually so impressed with the quality. Um, I really hope they fit as good as they feel. Um, so yeah, I will try it on with like my bikini top that I have ready and see what it looks like. And I'll let you know which size fits better. Okay, so the next bikini is a little bit cheeky. Um, this is kind of more for like my Ibiza holiday. And um, here we go. So again, a bit cheeky back, high rise sides. And then, look at these transparent bands. Ooh. So the picture looked amazing on the website. It like, looks like you've only got one strap going up. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what they look like. I'm intrigued. And then it also come with a matching top um 
which is a halter neck, which I absolutely love halter necks. And yeah, again, just feels really good quality. Um, even this band feels like really supportive. I'm digging it. Okay, I really hope this fits nicely because I am really excited to try this on. Next is another brightly coloured bikini. Open it up. Okay, um, immediately I noticed the material. It's kind of like, like a ribbed material. And this one actually has like wiring and padding. This is kind of like a bra. It's very structured, which I don't have any bikinis like that. Um, so that'll be interesting. It literally looks like a bra. Um, it's got a bit of a cheeky plunge down the bottom. Feels pretty good quality, thick. I really hope it fits. So this is in a size small and yeah i'm just digging the colors like i just need some bright colors in my life because i really need to stop buying dark colored bikinis even though i know i just showed you a black one but that had a little sauce to it then the bottom are like the same stripes up the front and then just plain orange at the back again in this like a ribbed material and as you can tell it's the same sort of cut like the high high rise bikinis I feel like this could be really good. It's either going to be like love it or hate it. So obviously I'm going to be spending a lot of time in like bikinis during my holidays. Sometimes you just want to cover up. Um, so I picked up a two pack of sarong. I actually don't have one yet. Um, I did buy this like long sarong kit from ASOS. Um, it's like a two piece. But I don't have a short one. So I picked up a set of basically a black and white. I'll just show you the black one right now. Um, I mean, a sarong is a sarong. It feels quite huge. It's so hard to show, not trying it on, but I'm sure the clips will explain the situation. So yes, I've got a white one and a black one. So hopefully they go with all of my bikinis. Wow, I really did buy a lot of bikinis. Um, I just wasn't expecting them all to look nice and fit. So I really hope I can return some to, like for my bank account and for my wardrobe space. But if they all look good, then I guess that's a positive. So this is a three piece. Um, we have the bottoms. This like tropical, what would you even say? Is it leafy? It kind of looks like watercolor type of style. Um, I love the green. Okay. And then the top, oh, hmm. this could be problematic. Um, we'll have to try this one on. It's like this. It just feels very structured at the bottom and I really hope I feel it. <laughs> um, again, kind of like a bra style. It has the like wiring at the bottom. Um, we shall see what this looks like. You can't actually fold it. Like it's really structured. So you have to like, you won't be able to fold that in half in your suitcase or it will snap in half. And then to go with it, it also has a matching strong I just really wanted like a full three piece bikini outfit. Um, I feel like that looked really cool like at a pool party or something. So the next bikini three piece absolutely screams Ibiza and I really, really hope it fits. Um, so I'm not like overly big on the bikini. Um, it's very simple, but the, the third piece is what sold the whole thing for me. So um, it's just like this. I don't know how flattering this is going to be. It's obviously this goes above your waist and like above your hips and then I don't know it just looks very unproportional um but we'll see it may fit perfectly um and then this is just like a standard like you know basic triangle piece for halter neck um bikini so that's just the basic bikini but this is what sold it for me and I really hope this fits and even if I just wear like a white bikini underneath if I don't like that but I'll obviously try on the whole thing and see but it's basically like a bodycon dress, but in like this mesh kind of material. So you'll obviously be able to see your skin and your bikini underneath. Um, but what's exciting about it is that there's loads of cutouts. So right where the waist is, there's a cutout on this side and then there's a cutout on this side with like some ruching. <laughs> so it kind of moves into like a sarong moment. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's a bodycon dress with loads of cutouts and look how freaking funky it is. So 
I really, really hope this fits. So everything I've ordered is in a size small. However, obviously the black high-waisted bikini bottoms I ordered in a small and a medium to see which fits. And then the last bikini, I also have the small and the medium to see. So I'm just not really sure on like the size of the bottom half. So this is the top. Like again, it's another bandeau. I was really thinking about um, tanning on this trip rather than having straps which I'm a bit skeptical about because you know how I feel about the straps but it is super cute um really good thick material if you can see it's kind of again like a ribbed material and then the bottoms are again high-waisted I just really want a pair of nice high-waisted black bikini bottoms so I'm hoping either these or the other ones fit like a glove so that is all of the bikinis that I've ordered from Shein. I wonder how many are actually going to fit and that I keep. Okay, this is how many I kept out of the bunch. Now on to random things that I didn't need. I've actually already unwrapped all these. I have them in a little cute pile ready to show you. Um, but this is the first one because who doesn't need a mirrored Wi-Fi sign with gold writing? Everyone needs that, right? So when my friends and family come to visit, I will have the Wi-Fi ready to go because they always ask me. So perhaps I might just put this like inside my wardrobe door so it's not like bright and shining on the wall. I just want it hidden but accessible. I also really needed a cake tester. Um, very simple, this is like 99p. I just always stick a fork in and then it has three big holes in my cake and like in my loaf or banana bread. So I wanted just a cute little one singular stick to put through my cakes um, because I make pretty much cakes every week um, for the kids that I look after. So yeah, cute. The next item is this little like push up container. So basically you put in your cream in here and then rather than like opening a big pot and like scooping your hand inside, um, you can actually just like press it and like the right amount or a good amount comes out. What I've ordered this for is I have this big pot of cream and I don't want to have to like scoop in this giant pot and it's also really big, it doesn't really look nice on my bathroom shelf. So if I can put that away, I'll just keep refilling this one and then I can just pump it, get a little bit of cream, rub it on my face and then voila. Like how cute is that? Genius. <laughs> I got a knife. So I was watching someone make some food for their child and they cut the avocado with this and it just looked impeccable and I was like, why do my avocado slices not look like that? I need one of these. And also I'm hoping it's strong enough to cut a potato. Um, maybe once it's been boiled, but I'm not sure if I can cut the potato like this beforehand. But, uh, Imagine if I could make crinkle chips, that would be so cool. Um, yeah, I just thought I needed this. I also got an apple cora because I cut an apple every single day and I always put it in my overnight oats and I also make it for the children. So make it. <laughs> I make apples. So basically I can just core it and then cut the rest. I feel like you will get more of your apple for your money. And it's a very fun tool. I'm sure the kids will like using it. <laughs> I picked up a packet of nail art paint brushes or nail brushes. Um, yeah, you just have a selection of sizes. Can you see that? There we go. And um, mine are just really old and like rock solid. So I just needed a new packet for my summer designs. Like I have so many nail inspo on my Pinterest. I can't wait to do some this summer. To use those brushes with, um, I picked up this. So basically, if I'm using a thin brush, I don't want the big brush, you know, that the nail varnish comes with. So I can just put a little bit of the, like, the varnish on here, wear it like a ring, and then using the nail brush, I can literally just, like, as I'm doing my nails, you get the paint from my little nail palette, and I can then do the pattern. That is going to be an absolute lifesaver. Like at the moment, I just find any random plasticky surface, um, but this will be so helpful when having it actually like on me as well. Like I just thought that was genius, and honestly, it's actually pretty cute. I would so have this as a coaster. Next random object is this. It's a cable organizer. Um, I had one of these at home, but it was a lot smaller. 
And I find them so useful. So basically if I have all my chargers next to my bedside table, they're all just sort of scattered on the floor. Whereas if I put this on, like stick this to the side of my bedside table, I can have all my cables coming up. It's going to be so organized and so easy to use. The next object is for traveling. And basically you get your perfume bottle, you take off the, like, the lid thing, and then you put this um, end at the top, you pump it and the perfume comes up through into this little container and then you can just take this and spray a little travel spray. Genius. I used to have one a really long time ago, I don't know what happened to it. I now have a green one and I like this more. So that is everything I ordered from Shein. I'm actually so excited to try all of this on and just hopefully wear it on holiday. If you are going on holiday this year, I would absolutely love to know where you're going. Comment down below and maybe your favourite item of the haul. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. There will be lots of travel vlogs coming and how I style all these items. So I hope you enjoy the content coming and enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!